Two gaming franchises that I absolutely adore are Castlevania and Metal Gear, but I'll be the first to admit that both of these franchises have definitely lost their way as time has gone on. Now, what's the common denominator between these two franchises? Oh, Konami. Don't we all just love Konami in 2018? Don't we just trust Konami in 2018? Konami, Konami, Konami. Let's look at the recently released Metal Gear Survive by Konami. That was an absolute travesty of a game. One of the worst online only games with literally nothing to do. I think there's eight players still playing it online right now. And of course you have the fact that it's just plummeting in price because it was an absolute failure. Nobody wanted this game in the Metal Gear universe. They want actual Metal Gear games. But obviously this video is more about Castlevania. If you look at the title of the game, you can pretty much see what we're getting into with this. But Castlevania is a fantastic franchise that I absolutely love. Whether you're talking about the classic 2D Castlevania style games, games like Castlevania 1, Castlevania 3, Rondo of Blood, Super Castlevania 4, or when they sort of shifted the 2D style to the Metroidvania style with Symphony of the Night, the great DS games. There's so many great awesome 2D Castlevania games. But of course, Konami likes to try new things as any game developer does, and we had some 3D stinkers as well. And that's sort of what they seemed to focus on, which was weird to me. Because when you look at a game like Castlevania 64, which was the first 3D Castlevania game, that game was absolutely terrible. You had games like Lament of Innocence, and just as time has gone on with the Lords of Shadow series, you had more 3D Castlevania games, and everyone was just kind of like, go away. We don't want these 3D Castlevania games. Like, they're okay, but it's not what we're here for. We don't want to go to a popular, you know, musician's concert and hear the new songs off the new album. We want to hear the songs from 20 years ago when you were actually popular, not trying to revive your career. But this morning, I see on Twitter, people are DMing me on Facebook, yo, there's a new 2D Castlevania game, you need to make a rant about it. And it's like, excuse me? Excuse me, why would I yell about a new 2D Castlevania game? This is exactly what I want. This is exactly what we want as gamers. Why would we be mad about a brand new 2D Castlevania game? And then I looked, and then I looked some more. And I thought to myself, you know, there's nothing that can go wrong with this. I have a Nintendo Switch, I have a PS4, I have an Xbox One. I am covered in the world of video games. I can cover it no matter what platform it's on. I will enjoy it on no matter what platform it's on, but it's not on a game console. No! This is going to be Castlevania for your phone. A 2D Castlevania game for your phone. So today, today we're going to talk about Castlevania Grimoire of Souls for the iOS. Just, just roll the intro, please. Hey, RGT85. Hey, Sean. Oh my God, it's Stevie Richards. So yes, a brand new Castlevania 2D game is coming to the I.O. S. You can't even enjoy it if you have an Android. It looks like this is only for iPhones, which is absolutely mind-blowing and just, just whatever. I have an iPhone, but I still don't care because this is just disgusting. But let's talk about Grimoire of Souls, and then, of course, we'll yell about some Konami towards the end of the video. So Grimoire of Souls actually sounds kind of like a cool game. Obviously, not many details have been released for it because it has just been announced this morning. But what we know about it is actually kind of promising, which just makes this a bitter pill to swallow. When you look at the artwork for the game, you could clearly see that there are various characters from the Castlevania universe, whether you're talking about Belmont, whether you're talking about Maria, whether you're talking about Soma Cruz, or whether you're talking about Alucard. Obviously, this game will sort of span different areas and span different Castlevania timelines and maybe potentially bring them into one or sort of have some time travel aspect. I'm not quite sure how it's going to go down, but it does seem very interesting because I like all these characters. It seems like they've taken all the popular characters from the Castle Castlevania series and put them into one 2D game, which on paper should absolutely be amazing. When you look at the gameplay style of the game, you can see that it's a pretty familiar thing. You can actually switch out characters. It looks like you can have two characters at once, and the graphics are actually very clean. You know, it looks like a traditional 2D Castlevania game in a modern style, and it looks like something that I would actually love to play. In the uh, details about the game, you could say it says, in addition to familiar solo play in the series, and 
exhilarating battle where you can enjoy a fight with up to four people, strengthen your favorite characters, and challenge your mighty enemies to stand. Now, obviously, this is a very uh, shoddy translation that I'm doing right now because I don't speak Japanese, but there's also going to be some competitive play where you can, like, have different characters four by four. There's obviously different styles of things going on. You can do different spells. There's going to be a soundtrack, collections of masterpieces of the past. It looks like there's going to be some dialogue as well. It looks like a really great game. And that's what pisses me off the most about this. Because we are at a point where a brand new 2D Castlevania game is only coming to an iPhone. And yes, potentially it could uh, come to platforms later. It could come to the Nintendo Switch. It could come to the PS4. It could come to the Xbox One. I totally get that. I totally get that this could be ported over. But let me tell you why that's a problem to me. Because first and foremost, a traditional 2D Castlevania game should not be regulated to an iPhone first. Okay, this should be something that comes to a console first. That's kind of where Castlevania Castlevania got its start. And let's face it, although mobile market is pretty, you know, successful for a lot of people, look at Nintendo. Did they really have a lot of great success with Super Mario Run and games like Fire Emblem, you know, staple IP franchises? Not really. It's not like the mobile market is this thing where you just put something out and you make millions and millions of dollars. For every success story, for every Angry Birds, for every Candy Crush, there are millions of failures. And these third party companies have seen those failures. Squaresoft has seen those, or Square Enix has seen those failures. I'm sure Konami themselves have seen those failures. So to put it on the iOS first and only announce it for iPhones and not even mention consoles is just honestly disgusting in my opinion. It's just such a slap in the face to retro gamers because guess what Konami? That's who wants this game. Retro gamers. Gamers who still collect physical games. Gamers who still go out there and buy physical games on day one. Gamers who prefer to play on a console. Gamers who have grown up on the Castlevania a franchise you show this to a little kid they're not gonna care they're gonna want their candy crush they're gonna want their stupid angry birds flappy bird whatever the hell bird there is it's like you're not gonna really tap into a new market with a traditional 2d castlevania game on the phone nobody wants this really it's not going to be a huge success maybe in the japanese market but still you have handhelds you have dedicated handhelds still in the japanese market or you have awesome home platforms that people own people own the ps4 tons of people own the nintendo switch in japan it's not like consoles are dying out and not needing a game like this and this look this game would be way more successful on a console than an ios but here's the real ass kicker for me because let's say that this game does end up coming to the nintendo switch the ps4 the xbox one whatever a dedicated home console it's going to be regulated to an ios style game because that's what it was built on and you could say oh you know konami could absolutely rebuild the game and do all this stuff but at the core of it it's still going to be a mobile game and yes mobile games have come a long long way do not get me wrong but I would rather see a traditional 2d Castlevania experience built for the ground up for home platforms instead of built for the ground up for the iOS and then ported to home platforms you see what I'm saying it's restrictive you can only do so much with the iOS how are the controls going to work in this game you're gonna have touchscreen controls you're gonna you know slide your finger across how are you gonna be able to take down bosses like 2d Castlevania bosses are some of the most most challenging bosses in gaming whether you're talking about metroidvania style or you're talking about the traditional style it took me decades decades to beat the original castlevania on the nes i first finally beat it like two years ago on christmas eve because i was bored and i was like you know what I'm going to finish this game. And I did. And it was such a satisfying experience. But even using the NES controller, which is a fantastic controller that everyone, you know, a lot of retro gamers have grown up on, it was still tough as nails. You had to learn patterns. You had to learn when to jump, when to use a sub weapon, when to hit Dracula. Like these aren't games that really lend themselves to touch controls and the iOS. It's just, it's frustrating because I want Castlevania to do well. I want new gamers to be able to experience Castlevania and all of these awesome games. I want new gamers to be ex experiencing 
great Metal Gear games, but Konami just comes along and they're so stupid and they do things without actually thinking, like the Metal Gear Solid 3 Pachinko Machine. The game looked absolutely fantastic, but it was regulated to Pachinko. Things like Super Bomberman R should have been a litmus test for this game to see if classic gamers want their old franchises back. Super Bomberman R sold very well on the Nintendo Switch. It's now getting ported to the PS4 and the Xbox One. So in lieu of that, you should be bringing Castlevania back to traditional home consoles. You are making money on these things. Obviously, the development costs of a 2D game are nowhere near as big as a 3D game. So why are you doing this, Konami? This is literally a slap in the face to gamers. I will not check out this game on the iOS, even though I have an iPhone. You know why? Because I don't play these games on my phone. My phone is for texting people. My phone is for doing business. My phone is for hitting up chicks and being like, yo, sub with them pics. Like, I don't wanna play video games on my phone. A lot of people don't play video games on their phone because it's limiting. Bring it to home consoles. The fact that you announced this for the iOS first is an absolute slap in the face to every hardcore Castlevania and classic Castlevania fan there is, and it's absolutely disgusting. But you know what? It's Konami in 2018. So what the hell should I expect from them but absolute crap? I'm done. That's it. That's all I have to say on this subject. It's just it's just so frustrating, and I'm sure a lot of you guys out there feel the same way. Let me know what you think about Grimoire of Souls in the comments section down below, because I think the game itself looks pretty cool it's a game that i would definitely play but i'm not playing it on my ios man I'm, I'm just i'm not doing it it's not for me thank you guys for checking out this video if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button turn on notifications so that way you know whenever i upload a new video i upload videos all the time on this channel if you're new here like i said i have a wednesday and friday news show that goes up every morning at 9 a.m on Wednesday and Friday, so make sure you guys check that out. There's all sorts of reviews. Honestly, this video wasn't even the video for today. I have so many other videos I'm working on that were supposed to be done today, but I just had to do something on this because it's absolutely disgusting, and it really, it hurts my soul, honestly, as a retro gamer. Thank you guys for checking out this video. If you really enjoyed it, check out all the links in the description box down below. We got Patreon, T-shirts, social media, all sorts of ways to support the channel, all sorts of ways to keep up to date with the world of RGT85, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. I need to go take a Xanax or something. Later.